<gasps> okay, here we go. Wow. Konnichiwa minasan and welcome back to my channel. I'm Reina Scully coming to you from Japan and today I wanted to introduce you to a very aesthetic Japanese snack box subscription called Sakurako. They have different themes every single month and each box comes with 20 different traditional Japanese tea, sweets, and snacks. Since Sakurako only features traditional Japanese snacks, I thought it would be fun to talk a little bit about Japanese culture while unboxing this with you. This box is seriously so beautiful. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, very pretty. All right, so this is the May box and it is the Mochi and Sakura tasting tour. I'm sure a lot of you know this already about me, but I much prefer Japanese confectionery over cookies or cakes or any modern desserts, mainly because wagashi or Japanese traditional snacks are significantly less sweet and I do think that it's a little bit healthier. Dairy wasn't common in Japan until the Meiji era, which is like 1868. So food or snacks that contain dairy is actually considered quite modern within Japan's very long history. And our terminology for Western snacks is yogashi, literally Western snacks. First, we have some plum mochi. Actually, let me take this time to explain the difference between plum blossoms and cherry blossoms. First, in Japanese, plum blossoms are called ume, which is actually my cat's name, and plum blossoms bloom earlier in the year than cherry blossoms, which you know to be sakura. Upon first glance, plum blossoms and cherry blossoms do sort of look alike, but there are some distinctive characteristics that tell them apart. First of all, sakura have little splits at the end of their petals and they tend to bloom in bunches, whereas plum blossoms don't have the split at all. It's almost like a perfect little circle and only one flower blooms from each bud. Sakura flowers also look a lot more delicate and have an airy nature to them as opposed to ume blossoms, which grow very firmly from the branch. In Japan, we also have something called hanakotoba, which translates to the language of flowers, and each flower has a distinct meaning behind them. So sakura means kind and gentle, and it expresses the transience of life, mainly because Sakura blooms suddenly and beautifully, but then before you know it, sakura season is over and all the petals are gone. And the hanakotoba for ume is patience, elegance, and faithfulness. Anyway, I am done with that tangent. So this is plum flavored mini mochis. And then we also have Warabi mochi! Okay, so warabi mochi is easily one of the strangest Japanese foods that exists. It is a clear, gelatinous, jelly type of mochi that's made from cornstarch, and you usually eat it with kinako. So kinako is ground up soybean, roasted soybean, that is turned into a powder, and it kind of, kind of tastes like peanut butter. And this is a ichijiku doraeki. So ichijiku are figs in Japanese. So this has fig jam in it. Look at this beautiful, beautiful packaging. This is their sakura sencha. So it's a tea, it's sencha, but I wonder why it's sakura. I wonder if it has any, oh my God, it comes with sakura leaves inside. Okay, I will definitely pour some. I even have a little you know me ready. And we also got some cute little kinako mochi. I think they're a little bit like senbe. Senbe are like rice crackers. And this little rectangular jelly type of thing is called kanten. This one is specifically sakura kanten mochi. So kanten is basically agar, which is kind of like gelatin, but it's plant-based. And it is a really soft, gummy. And this right here is called a Rikishi Mochi Monaka. So Monaka are also really commonly found in Japanese traditional sweets. Um, it's basically a flavorless, super light wafer that melts in your mouth when you eat it. We also got some of these mini Mitarashi Mochi Monaka. 
So, mitarashi is actually the sweet soy sauce glaze that comes on a lot of mochi. So, I guess that's like infused inside of here. That is so cool. So, this month's box also comes with a sakura motifed owan. Wow! That's so pretty! So, owang are our bowls that we usually put miso soup in or some types of desserts. This is so cute! I can't believe this comes with the box. This is the prettiest cookie I've ever seen in my life. This is the sakura cream sandwich cookie. And finally, we have the sakura kuzumochi. This is such a fancy little package. Okay, let me open this up too. I wanna see what's inside. Okay. Oh, okay. It comes with kinako powder and this is the jelly that you're supposed to put out into a little plate and then you pour the kinako powder on. All right, let's do this. Let's make this. And this cute little puffer fish monaka is called the fukufuku oshiruko. What? So, oshiruko, also known as zenzai, is a red bean porridge with mochi in it. It's typically eaten during the winter and it's my favorite. When I lived in LA, I used to go to Mitsua and buy so much instant oshiruko because I miss Japan so much, but I've never seen one as fancy as this one ever. Let's definitely make this together. I want to see what it's like when you pour hot water onto it. Let's use the very beautiful bowl that came with the box and let's see what this oshiruko is like. That is so cute. Okay, so let's place it in and add some hot water. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. Wow. Oh. And it even has little arare inside. Arare are like little crispy rice crackers. They can either be salty or sweet. Obviously, this one's going to be sweet. Yum. And this is the mochi that comes inside. It is super soft. All right, I'll eat this in a second. Now let's see what this sakura sencha is like. Nice little convenient tea bag. Oh yes! I don't quite see the sakura petals. I don't know if you can, oh actually, I see them inside the little tea bag. I know you can't really see them, I'm so sorry. But, whoa, how very pretty. Japanese green tea goes so, so well with Japanese traditional snacks. I feel like there's no other beverage that works with Japanese wagashi. Now let's open the very fancy kuzumochi. <gasps> wow. And this is the kinako powder that comes with it. <laughs> because it's so clear, it's like hard to see, but... <laughs> oh, it smells like sakura. And now it's gonna smell like kinako. Cute! This is so, so Japanese. Let me know in the comments if you'd ever want to try kuzumochi or warabi mochi. First, I'm gonna try the sakura kuzumochi. And normally you're supposed to eat this with like a dessert spoon, but I don't have that, so I'm gonna have to do it with chopsticks. Itadakimasu! Oh, it's hard to cut with chopsticks because it's like so jelly y. Oh, okay, here we go. Whoa! Mmm! This would have been way more delicious had I refrigerated it, but I didn't know. Who cares? It's yummy. Oh no, I love it. Okay, one more bite, one more bite, one more bloop bite. Mmm, tastes like Japan. And of course, this is their Sakura Sencha tea, which has some cherry blossom petals in the tea bag. 
Oh, wow. It's really good tea. Again, nothing goes better with traditional Japanese wagashi than green tea. I feel like they're made for each other. And now finally, what I am most excited about is their oshiruko. Oh, itadakimasu! Mmm. Oh, it tastes so good! Wow, very well done. So I think I forgot to mention it before, but remember how this was originally in the shape of a pufferfish or a blowfish? Those are called fugu in Japanese, and it's a little bit of a dajare, which is a play on words, but fugu kind of sounds like fuku, which means fortune and like happiness and good luck. So I think this is supposed to be auspicious to eat. Oh, bring me good luck! Oishii. So as you saw, the most common Japanese wagashi consist of mochi, azuki red beans, monaka, and kinako powder. They are all very natural and vegan, which I find amazing. And if you want to learn more about Japanese culture, I have a few videos that are dedicated to it. I will link them down below in my description in case you are interested. And if you'd like a Sakurako box of your own or maybe to gift to a Japan-loving friend, I will leave the link in my description as well. To receive this exact Mochi and Sakura tour box for May, be sure to subscribe before the end of April. And prepaid plans are cheaper than the monthly plan. They have a lot of pricing options to suit your needs, so be sure to check it out. So just a few final thoughts. Sakurako really, really impressed me, especially because they give you this Oan to keep inside of the box like that's crazy to me I thought this was so wonderful and I'm obviously completely in love with the oshiruko that is inside I'm also crazy impressed with how beautiful the packaging was for everything this makes such a nice gift which sakurako item interested you the most please let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video